It's a mess out there. I know you've got some reports from the Westmoreland area today. So uh, this is very important. So how about let's go ahead and let you get right on into that. All right. Coming into Westmoreland, going out of Westmoreland, 31W, the ridge, the hill there that you have to come up or go down. Yeah, they shut that down. Okay, so if you're in Westmoreland and you have to get to some place like Gallatin, look for an alternate route. If you're trying to get into Westmoreland and you do find a way in uphill, remember, drop the vehicle down in low and go slow. You will make it up the hill. Um, there's been a couple of wrecks out there already this evening. A lot of people sliding off into the uh, unknown areas of the road. Okay. You know, so just, you know, like we always say, people, be weather aware, be aware of what's going on around you. And in weather like this, if you have to be out in it, remember, drive defensively. All right, and thank you for that report. And uh, if you get any more reports, you know, make sure you send those in so we can get that information out there. Obviously. All right, and weather-wise here, just as he had mentioned, take it easy out there on those roads. This is what we're going to be watching for uh, over the next, uh, let's see, we'll say 12, 24 hours from now. So again, below freezing temperatures is what we're going to be dealing with until Thursday. That is one of the reasons that prompted a storm tub alert for the area today. And then again, Sunday night heading into Tuesday morning, we're going to be under that winter storm warning from tonight, even into Tuesday morning. And then going from tonight in the Tuesday morning again, we're also going to be talking about snowfall accumulations, okay? Now, this is the big wide picture of the uh, the winter weather headlines. If you are shaded in pink, I'll actually step out of the view there. If you're under the pink, you're under that winter storm warning that is out until 6 o'clock Tuesday morning. And then if you're in some of our Kentucky counties there, that's the purple, that winter weather advisory. So their time will be seven o'clock uh, Eastern time for them. That's when that will expire. But for us here at home, that's gonna be six o'clock. So winter storm warning expands all over uh, parts of the Mid-South there. And then even the uh, winter weather advisory is clipping all of the Kentucky counties there. Now, like I said, it is gonna be downright cold out there. This is a look at the dangerously cold temperatures there. So we've got uh, four degrees and five degrees. That's going to be some of the wind chill factors for Monday night going into Tuesday morning. I'll step out of frame so you can see that. Two degrees there out of Nashville and same for uh, Lafayette where we're picking up negative two. And then as we work our way into Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning, negative six out there for Nashville, negative seven as we work our way into the uh, Clarksville area, and then negative 11 degrees as we go in towards the Crossville area. So how, how is this all going to work? So we're going to have multiple consecutive days of freezing temperatures that are going to continue until the late day on Thursday. The coldest temperatures that your body is going to feel will be Monday and Tuesday night. So Monday night into Tuesday night is when you're going to get that harsh cold temperatures. Remember the four P's guys. People, check on your people, okay? Elderly, children, and those that are without heat right now. Make sure you check on those people. The pets as well. Make sure you bring your four-legged pal uh, inside there. Any plants, okay, that cannot be brought inside, make sure they are covered with love. They are taking care of love, okay? TLC, tender love and care. Now, those pipes, okay, make sure those pipes are dripping tonight, okay? You don't want to wake up in the morning with frozen uh, pipelines. That just wouldn't be too good. Uh, so, again, reminder. And again, there's a look at the evening planner where you'll note we've got those temperatures uh, just kind of hanging in the chilly zone spot, okay? And we're going to be picking up from snow between 9 o'clock all the way up into parts of the 6 o'clock in the morning time frame. And so it's still going to be snowing out there. As far as that super seven-day forecast goes, we're going to be under a storm 12 alert for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Why do you ask storm tub alert for three days in a row? Well, Monday is because of the snow. Tuesday and Wednesday is because of extreme cold temperatures out there. 23 Monday, 22 for Tuesday, 32 on Wednesday. And again, Thursday, we'll get a break during the day, but during the nighttime hours, we'll watch for another wintry weather mix coming in Thursday night, heading into Friday morning, where we're gonna go from a high on Thursday, 39 to 28 on Friday, picking it up on Saturday with 26 and 
and in the high, we get better, all right? We get better in the forecast as we work our way into Sunday with a temperature of 35 degrees.